Afternoon, Rosemont Horizon Arena, 18,000 seats, a suburb of Chicago, Illinois. We were there on a crusade. It was packed on Friday. It was packed on Saturday. It was packed on Sunday afternoon. Service started, and Satan dug in his heels and said, I'm going to stop this service. You could sense and feel in the spirit world a battle going on. That's right. Yeah. Nothing seemed to go right. Everything was a struggle. It was like hands around your throat. Started the special music, went through one song, two songs, and it was just going downhill. Came to a particular song, and Dad said, Stop. I don't want to sing that song. He said, There's a spirit in this place, and I'm tired of it. Yes. There's a bondage in this place, and I'm tired of it. Yes. The devil is not going to stop this service. Yes. Praise God. See, Sunday afternoons was Holy Spirit Day. And we would see up to a thousand people in a service filled with the Holy Spirit. And Dad turned to the singers turned to Thomas Sloan and said, Thomas, I know we hadn't rehearsed it because you see, we were taping for television as well. So television had to know everything you were doing. You couldn't spring something on them. Well, we did. And Dad said, Thomas, I know we hadn't rehearsed it. We haven't sung it in ages. But I want you to start singing one more river to cross. Oh, yes. One more mountain to climb. Yes. One more valley that I got to go through, leaving my troubles behind. 
And I mean, that band kicked into it. They started singing, the singers did. And I mean, that spirit left. I mean, there wasn't enough doors. I mean, you could feel the presence of God become sweeping through that. People begin to stand up. They begin to shout, dance in the spirit. And on the platform, I looked up. And in the back of the arena, I looked up and coming down the aisle, something I didn't expect to see in church that Sunday. But a full-grown adult man in his 40s doing cartwheels. That's right, yes. He did cartwheels all, I'm not exaggerating, all the way down the aisle. Got to the edge of the platform, did cartwheels. All the way across, Dad was playing the piano going, the singers singing, the drummer. And he did cartwheels out the side door after the service. And, and what I looked at, I saw on his shirt, he was an usher. And after the service, the head usher came up to me and I said, was that one of your guys? He was mortified. He said, oh brother, Swagger, please forgive me. He goes to my church. And he said, I asked him to be an usher for this reason. He said, I didn't even think the man was saved. I've never seen him raise his hands. I've never heard him say, praise the Lord. I got him in the hallway. I said, what came over you? He said, I don't know how to explain it, but I finally got it. I finally got it. I finally got it. He said, I didn't know what to do except do some cartwheels for Jesus. Well, I want to tell you, I don't care what the devil has brought against you this morning. There's only one more river to cross. There's only one more mountain to climb. One more time. There's been a lot of people talking about me since I walked this narrow.
Jesus in the house. Hallelujah. It's real, folks. It's real. I said it's real. The power of God is real. The power of the one more time. I got one more river to cross. Yeah. 